Hello, this is Todd Mulfenter with the University of Wisconsin in Madison, uh, coming uh, where I'm in the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering. And this article is for JMIR Mental Health, and it's going to address telehealth use and substance use disorder services. Yeah, why, why we chose to submit this article to JMIR Mental Health is because this is an article where, where it looks at telehealth use for substance use disorder services. And it's, it's a repeat survey of, of looking at how the servicers are used across, across the national sample of substance use disorder or, or addiction uh, organizations. The, the, the follow-up survey is for a survey that was, uh, that was published in JMIR Mental Health uh, back in 2020. And, uh, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an article that um, was, was really well received at that point. We, we had a lot of, a lot of uh, citations. And, uh, and so we thought it'd be natural to, to as, we, as we put together this follow-up survey of, of you know, how, you know, of course, during COVID, there was a lot of focus on, on um, you know, how telehealth is being used. And so we wanted to see if that continued, and we thought it'd be natural to have the follow-up survey uh, be in the journal where the original survey was and was very well received. Yeah. My experience uh, with submitting to JMIR Mental Health was uh, very professional. Uh, they, the, the journal is very good at telling you what the next steps are and, uh, or what's needed in the current step. And, uh, and, and uh, we, we had a few instances where we needed clarification on what was needed. Journal staff was very helpful. Um, so, so the uh, overall process was uh, very, uh, very professional and, and uh, played out as, as they said it would and with the different steps in the submission portal.